Hello, this is the Luckiest, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Last time we lost because a cruiser ran away and we couldn't catch it. I think we did well for ourselves then. We're going to try it again. Going with guns and fire control. Liked the battleship. Uh, if I remember correctly, we did go with triple expansion. We've gone with induced. Best armor we could get. Did do the reinforced bulkheads. Heavy shell. Induced ammo. Torpedoes. Uh, we were using the ballastite. Uh, regular hydraulics, fast torpedoes, 18 inch, and 14 inches of armor. Eight point eight four secondaries. All right. That's right. We weren't using front tower two. We were using one because otherwise we can't fit the. What was it? A twelve inch forward. Squeeze that in as close as possible. Funnel wires. Secondary wire. I think we're using the five inch duels. There's just some interesting firing arcs on those. We had no broadside ones, those cover it. And a single torpedo launcher. Although I think we ended up removing those. Even out that to 20 knots. Yeah, I think we had removed the torpedoes. Oh, there's, there they are. There we go. That's what we were using. Right up to the edge. Liked it. We're going to use it again. I mean, more speed would be great. There we go. Our target, no reason to close in overly quickly. Accuracy very poor today. Oh, yeah. Band all the windows again. And for the initial, we'll move back to times three until we get a little bit closer. We will slow it slower down though. And 
because they were so delightful last time. We'll get started on those cruisers immediately. We did suffer a few penetrations from the battleship last time. I'm just less concerned about it. Well, let's get you guys more involved this time. There we go. That's a good hit on the forward cruiser. Straight into the engine at that. Have our battleship shift targets. Oh, and there's the other engine. All right. Both enemy cruisers have been crippled at the very least. Well, it looks like we're going to lose one of ours early. Ooh, ammo detonation. Yeah, that'll do it. Using 10 inch. Well, that's going to be a bit easier this time. Tighter, please. I see that torpedo. Oh, snap. That had to have been an am ammo debt. Yeah. Like, that was way too fast. Didn't even get to see much of that fight. Oh, I forgot to drop it to times two. Oh well. Up max speed, please. See that torpedo too. There we go. Good hit into the conning tower. Both of these cruisers engines damaged, we have much less, much less chance of them getting away this time. tower has been destroyed several times now. That's not new guys. 
All right, our cruiser is coming down to a stop. Six inches are setting up like a metronome. They're not quite completely where they need to be. Flooding in the stern. Yeah, she's gonna flood out. No, stop just before. Another funnel. How far is she? Almost within three kilometers. All right, now we'll drop down to sixteen again. Not that we're capable of hitting twenty right now. our other cruiser is still alive but looks like the enemy cruisers have decided to target the battleship. There we go. see them through that smoke. Torpedoes. Oh yeah, she's not feeling good. There's the torpedo. Come on, I think we're gonna eat it. It's too close to range.
we've all crippled each other. Still taking flotation damage. With the minimum bulkheads, I'm a little bit worried about having four compartments flooding. percent accuracy at least our flotation damage stopped now they're pumping it free except for the two compartments we lost those probably will not get pumped down spots. Really tempted to switch to HE at this point. Maybe we can angle a little bit, get the sixes more involved. Oh, they are already. There we go. Now for the Medea. Plenty of penetrations, over penetrations. He's only got one gun operational, every other gun has been knocked out. She thinks. Well, that was relatively quick. Let's see, now we have search and destroy, chase and destroy enemy within time limit. 
they have two battleships. We have a battleship and two destroyers. We must design and build one or more capital ships that are able to catch up and destroy two enemy battleships that are retreating to their base. These battleships might be old, but should not be underestimated. They are quite fast and dangerous to fight at close range. Technology that assists remote detection will be very helpful. Two advanced destroyers will escort your forces. Reconnaissance and other. Control station range finder. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good for long range. And speed. Range finder. Yeah, well, let's let's go for what they're recommending. We can go a little bit smaller for more speed. Looking at the hull form. Well, we can use turbines, oil, lots of good technology here. Bull crop, bull crop. Reinforced bulkheads to the max minimum range. Super heavy shells. Whatever we want. Or powder. Hurts will wait on. Same for the Reloading. Twenty inch torpedoes. Fast. Ah, oh, excellent. The best stereoscopic rangefinder we can get. Best radar we can get. And we'll use the radio. All right, looking at what we have available. Straight line bonuses. I don't see anything that's reduced. We'll stick that as far forward as we can. Rear tower. Right there. Can't squeeze that any. Funnels we'll worry about in a little bit. We already have our superimposed set up by our structures. And we do the 16 inch. And do I want to sacrifice some aiming? I need 500 more tons. And we can't fit the 16 inch on the rear. Makes me want to use triples. Those are all Mark 1s. 14. Actually. Long range performance on the 16 is a little bit better. Looking at the penetration values. Fourteens might actually be a better better deal. For the same weight we can get triples as well. And they'll superimpose in the big rear. Basically building a New Mexico. Uh, 
no need for secondaries or casemates. Looking at long range combat here, no need for torpedoes either. Now that I've thought about it, minimum doesn't seem to be a viable choice. Pull this back slightly. Alright, that leaves us a little space in the middle. Mm, armor that we're going to want. 5 inch deck reduced by the armor strength 2.5 minimum. And. We wanted full protection, we'd need 15, 16, 17, 17 and a half ish. For the belt. Secondaries don't matter. That's relatively full protection against the 14 inch guns. Then uh, speed, speed, speed. Now we can start adding in nice to haves. Acceleration, turning rate, or traverse, burst, max speed penalty for damage, more acceleration, more turning. I want the auxiliary more. Also, turret traverse speed, which we haven't even done that, and with the number of barrels we have, I am okay keeping the. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep a forward armament more than anything else. I think three turrets focusing on the forward is a better option. I'm not going to stick a fourth turret. I'm going to leave that blank. I don't think we need to set up better um, turret traverse. Since we don't need to worry about traverse we can sacrifice aiming speed enter traverse and have faster loading guns okay I'm looking where this is going uh, we have not done funnels yet we're at max speed can we do two largest? We can. It gives us 2%. Not enough. And the advanced ones take up more space, so I can't stack them. So that's 45. Single mega I 
probably don't even need that. There's a small one. That one's for the auxiliary machinery. That one's for the engine. I'm not storing, I'm sticking to it. Do we sacrifice the bulkheads for the benefit of some better machinery? Sure, why not? I have pretty significant armor. We also have pretty significant weight we can take off the ship. All the way down to 50,000. That's Let's at least squeeze it a little bit. Ah, I hate it when it freaks out like that. Thanks, game. Move those back just slightly. Put the main tower back on there. Just the barest amount of aft offset. One mega funnel. One itty bitty funnel. And we add our bulkheads back. Or I have the best machinery. Really, the best option is more armor. I don't know what else I would add at this point that I care about. Like, I could add some more protection systems, but how close are we going to get? And, um, so far I've had been under the impression the armor is superior to the protection schemes. And you can almost always add more armor. Just max out cost with third top with five. Okay, that'll rapidly add up. Four point four inch deck. All right, let's just go with it and see how it performs. Alright. Switch to our armor piercing. Looking for critical hits. No report of smoke. Hey, was that? Yep, that way. Bit to the left. There we go. Dead ahead. Slight right bearing drift. How's the weather? Eh, not terrible.
Oh, dropping the combat speed. What are you shooting at? Glad you can shoot. Hey, we got a hit. Penetration at that. I would hope so with that kind of range. That in slightly. Barrel tech, it's not a minus 20 for this particular mission. Minus 15. There, we can actually see them now. Thought they said these were fast. 16 minutes. Port funnel. We'll range there. Looking at 18 kilometers. Kind of armor value to that. Plus seven. With 12 inch, so like 17 ish inches. We need to get within 10 kilometers to penetrate the belt. Or 12 and a half. Attack wise, we're probably good until 15 ish. We're right there, so. Aren't there supposed to be two of these guys? Actually, let's stay pursuing. We'll close in. They're using 14 inch Mark II's. Very little chance of hitting us from this range. Hey, there's a fire. And finally, deigned to open fire.
Uh, partial plan. That one looks good. But isn't possible. Oh, there's another partial pen. I think we entered a bit of an immunity zone. So we should be switching from deck to. No, that was a mid deck penetration. How close are we now? Within 10 kilometers. That's about what I guessed. Our accuracy 33%. Excellent. Hit the main gun. Perfect. To knock that rear gun out would be even better. Or 33% accuracy, it sure is it's not hitting much. There we go, there's another main gun hit. Oh, funnel fire. Could slow her down. And considering our speed, we could actually should be able to drop to full and close in fairly quickly. Yeah, 70% at this range. I think that's close enough. We'll come to a broadside. Three turrets. Knocked out the forward gun. And there's the other battleship. Oh, that's glorious. Oh, they finally managed to hit us. One hit out of those nine shells. One, two. And we've knocked out the other forward gun. I think we're going to resume. I haven't neutralized the threat, but we've certainly heard her. Ooh, four hits out of nine. And destroyed the other main gun. Flank speed. We'll continue to shoot her as we chase the other battleship now. More fire flooding. I'm a little bit worried about how much ammo we have though. Torpedoes? Oh, they sure did. Use 
now in a wreck, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, she's moving to avoid the torpedoes. Give you AI control. Go after these guys. Let the destroyers keep them nervous. Even their secondaries are almost entirely out. Should I shift to HE? Oh, there we go. Ammo detonation. is this 20 do we have the ammo for that we should go back to times 5 speed the Sila has nothing but 13 inch a whole lot of them and is significantly faster Three national flags. Would like to point out most nations of this period flew a jack, which was different from the national flag. The national flag would fly from the stern, the jack from the forward, and the navy flag would fly from the mast. Ooh, there's one. Stern deck extended penetration. Looking at 5% accuracy right now. There we go. Deck hit. That was completely off. She finally returns fire. Up at 1% chance to hit. We're almost down to just one hour left. This battleship has even less armor. And it's rather small, 25,000 tons. We just built a behemoth. I might have gone with the battle cruiser hull and gone for even more speed. Are we on ammo? Down to 400. Range 
is just about 14 kilometers. Penetration. I haven't really seen the ports working. Like they seem to be off screen to the left somewhere. But that was a 14 inch stern deck again. Well, that's, that's not that great. Just damaging the same thing again. I don't think this was yellow before though. Yeah, there's the main tower. Turn deck again. Two of the main guns. Hit. I can select it again. Oh uh, yeah, the mid ones. We're up to 16% accuracy at this point. Almost down to 300 rounds. destroyed one of the main guns. shot. Some main gun damage. We're now within 10 kilometers. Oh, destroyed the rear gun. Switch us to AG for a little bit. I know we're taking out guns with the AP, but we're also in the area where um, that she has some immunity zone, maybe. Oh, nice. How is AG able to get down into the Citadel and AG wasn't? Oh, okay, AG wins again. Oh yeah, that's absolutely devastating. Why did I ever use AP? She burn down or flood down? Looks like burn down. Although we might actually just do structural damage. There we go. There you have it. Two missions in one episode. I haven't done that in a while. I know, uh, 
quite a few people are probably excited to get to the modern battleship one. And then the numbers don't matter one, that one's brand new as well. Anyways, that'll be one for the next time. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for staying till the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Take care.